Thomas Cruz Mapother IV is an American actor and producer. One of the world's highest paid actors, he has received various accolades throughout his career, including three Golden Globe Awards, in addition to nominations for a British Academy Film Award and three Academy Awards. His films have grossed over $4 billion in North America and over $10.1 billion worldwide, making him one of the highest grossing box office stars of all time. Cruz began acting in the early 1980s and made his breakthrough with leading roles in the comedy film Risky Business and action drama film Top Gun. Critical acclaim came with his roles in the drama films The Color of Money, Rain Man, and Born on the Fourth of July. For his portrayal of Ron Kovic in the latter, he won a Golden Globe Award and received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actor. As a leading Hollywood star in the 1990s, he starred in several commercially successful films, including the drama A Few Good Men, the thriller The Firm, the horror film Interview with the Vampire, and the romance Jerry Maguire. For his role in the latter, he won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor and received his second Academy Award nomination. Cruz's performance as a motivational speaker in the drama film Magnolia earned him another Golden Globe Award and a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. As an action star, he has played Ethan Hunt in all six of the Mission Impossible films from 1996 to 2018. He also starred in science fiction and action films, including Vanilla Sky, Minority Report, The Last Samurai, Collateral, War of the Worlds, Night and Day, Jack Reacher, Oblivion, Edge of Tomorrow, and The Mummy. Cruz has been married to actresses Mimi Rogers, Nicole Kidman, and Katie Holmes. He has three children, two of whom were adopted during his marriage to Kidman and the other of whom is a biological daughter he had with Holmes. Cruz is an outspoken advocate for the Church of Scientology and its associated social programs, which he credits with helping him overcome dyslexia. In the 2000s, he sparked controversy with his church-affiliated criticisms of psychiatry and antidepressant drugs, his efforts to promote Scientology as a religion in Europe, and a leaked video interview of him promoting Scientology. Early life and education Cruz was born on July 3, 1962, in Syracuse, New York, to electrical engineer Thomas Cruz Mapother III and special education teacher Mary Lee. His parents were both from Louisville, Kentucky, and had English, German, and Irish ancestry. Cruz has three sisters named Lee Ann, Marion, and Cass. One of his cousins, William Mapother, is also an actor who has appeared alongside Cruz in five films. Cruz grew up in near poverty and had a Catholic upbringing. He later described his father as a merchant of chaos, a bully, and a coward, who beat his children. He elaborated, was the kind of person where, if something goes wrong, they kick you. It was a great lesson in my life how he'd lull you in, make you feel safe and then, bang. For me, it was like, there's something wrong with this guy. Don't trust him. Be careful around him. Cruz spent part of his childhood in Canada. When his father took a job as a defense consultant with the Canadian Armed Forces, his family moved in late 1971 to Beacon Hill, Ottawa. He attended the new Robert Hopkins Public School for his fourth and fifth grade education. He first became involved in drama in fourth grade, under the tutelage of drama teacher George Steinberg. He and six other boys put on an improvised play to music called IT at the Carlton Elementary School Drama Festival. Drama organizer Val Wright, who was in the audience, later said that the movement and improvisation were excellent. It was a classic ensemble piece. In sixth grade, Cruz went to Henry Monroe Middle School in Ottawa. That year, his mother left his father, taking Cruz and his sisters back to the United States. In 1978, she married Jack South. Cruz's father died of cancer in 1984. Cruz briefly took a Catholic Church scholarship and attended the St. Francis Seminary in Cincinnati, Ohio. He aspired to become a Franciscan priest before being expelled from the seminary for drinking and becoming interested in acting. 24-26 in total, he attended 15 schools in 14 years. In his senior year of high school, he played football for the varsity team as a linebacker, but was cut from the squad after getting caught drinking beer before a game. 47 he went on to star in the school's production of Guys and Dolls. In 1980, he graduated from Glen Ridge High School in Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Career acting at age 18, with the blessing of his mother and stepfather, Cruz moved to New York City to pursue an acting career. After working as a busboy in New York, he went to Los Angeles to try out for television roles. He signed with CAA and began acting in films. He first appeared in a bit part in the 1981 film Endless Love, followed by a major supporting role as a crazed military academy student in TAPS later that year. In 1983, Cruz was part of the ensemble cast of The Outsiders. That same year he appeared in All the Right Moves and Risky Business, which has been described as, a Generation X classic, and a career maker for Tom Cruise. He also played the male lead in the Ridley Scott film Legend, released in 1985. By 1986's Top Gun, his status as a superstar had been cemented. Cruise followed up Top Gun with The Color of Money, which came out the same year, and which paired him with Paul Newman. 1988 saw him star in Cocktail, which earned him a nomination for the Razzie Award for Worst Actor. Later that year he starred with Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man, 
which won the Academy Award for Best Film and Cruz the Kansas City Film Critics Circle Award for Best Supporting Actor. Cruz portrayed real-life paralyzed Vietnam War veteran Ron Kovac in 1989's Born on the Fourth of July, which earned him a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama, the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Actor, the People's Choice Award for Favorite Motion Picture Actor, a nomination for BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, and Cruz's first Best Actor Academy Award nomination. Cruz's next films were Days of Thunder and Far and Away, both of which co-starred then-wife Nicole Kidman as his love interest, followed by the legal thriller The Firm, which was a critical and commercial success. In 1994, Cruz starred along with Brad Pitt, Antonio Banderas and Christian Slater in Neil Jordan's Interview with the Vampire, a gothic drama, horror film that was based on Anne Rice's best-selling novel. The film was well received, although Rice was initially quite outspoken in her criticism of Cruz having been cast in the film, as Julian Sands was her first choice. Upon seeing the film, however, she paid $7,740 for a two-page ad in Daily Variety praising his performance and apologizing for her previous doubts about him. In 1996, Cruz appeared as super spy Ethan Hunt in the reboot of Mission, Impossible, which he produced. It was a box office success, although it received criticism regarding the Jim Phelps character being a villain despite being a protagonist of the original television series. In 1996, he took on the title role in Jerry Maguire, for which he earned a Golden Globe and his second nomination for an Academy Award. In 1999, Cruz co-starred with Kidman in the erotic Stanley Kubrick film Eyes Wide Shut, and took a rare supporting role, as a motivational speaker, Frank T.J. Mackey, in Magnolia, for which he received another Golden Globe and nomination for an Academy Award. In 2000, Cruz returned as Ethan Hunt in the second installment of the Mission Impossible films, Mission, Impossible 2. The film was helmed by Hong Kong director John Wu and branded with his gun fu style, and continued the series' blockbuster success at the box office, taking in almost $547 million in worldwide figures. Like its predecessor, it was the highest grossing film of the year, and had a mixed critical reception. Cruz received an MTV Movie Award for Best Male Performance for this film. His next five films were major critical and commercial successes. The following year Cruz starred in the romantic thriller Vanilla Sky with Cameron Diaz and Penelope Cruz. In 2002, Cruz starred in the dystopian science fiction action film Minority Report which was directed by Steven Spielberg and based on the science fiction short story by Philip K. Dick. In 2003, he starred in Edward Zwick's period action drama The Last Samurai, for which he received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor. In 2004, Cruz received critical acclaim for his performance as Vincent in Collateral, directed by Michael Mann. In 2005, Cruz worked again with Steven Spielberg in War of the Worlds, a loose adaptation of the H. G. Wells' novel of the same name, which became the fourth highest-grossing film of the year with US$591.4 million United States dollars worldwide. Also in 2005, he won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Male Movie Star in the MTV Generation Award. Cruz was nominated for seven Saturn Awards between 2002 and 2009, winning once. Nine of the ten films he starred in during the decade made over $100 million at the box office. In 2006, he returned to his role as Ethan Hunt in the third installment of the Mission Impossible film series, Mission, Impossible 3. The film was more positively received by critics than the previous films in the series, and grossed nearly $400 million at the box office. In 2007, Cruz took a rare supporting role for the second time in Lions for Lambs, which was a commercial disappointment. This was followed by an unrecognizable appearance as Les Grossman in the 2008 comedy Tropic Thunder with Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. This performance earned Cruz a Golden Globe nomination. Cruz played the central role in the historical thriller Valkyrie released on December 25, 2008, to box office success. In March 2010, Cruz completed filming the action comedy Night and Day, in which he re-teamed with former co-star Cameron Diaz. The film was released on June 23, 2010. On February 9, 2010, Cruz confirmed that he would star in Mission, Impossible, Ghost Protocol, the fourth installment in the Mission, Impossible series. The film was released in December 2011 to high critical acclaim and box office success. Unadjusted for ticket price inflation, it was Cruz's biggest commercial success to that date. On May 6, 2011, Cruz was awarded a humanitarian award from the Simon Wiesenthal Center and its Museum of Tolerance for his work as a dedicated philanthropist. In mid-2011, Cruz started shooting the movie Rock of Ages, in which he played the character Stacy Jacks. The film was released in June 2012. Cruz starred as Jack Reacher in the film adaptation of British author Lee Child's 2005 novel One Shot. The film was released on December 21, 2012. It met with positive reviews from critics and was a box office success grossing $217 million worldwide. In 2013, he starred in the science fiction film Oblivion based on director Joseph Kaczynski's graphic novel of the same name. The film met with mixed reviews and grossed $286 million worldwide.
It also starred Morgan Freeman and Olga Kurilenko. In 2014, Cruz starred in the science fiction action film Edge of Tomorrow, which received positive reviews and grossed over $370 million. In 2015, Cruz returned as Ethan Hunt in the fifth installment of the Mission. Impossible series, Mission. Impossible, Rogue Nation, which he also produced. Returning cast members included Simon Pegg as Benji and Jeremy Renner as William Brandt, with Christopher McQuarrie as director. The film earned high critical acclaim and was a commercial success. Cruz starred in the 2017 reboot of Boris Karloff's 1932 horror movie The Mummy. The new film, also titled The Mummy received negative reviews and flopped at the box office. In 2018, Cruz again reprised Ethan Hunt, in the sixth film in his franchise, Mission, Impossible, Fallout. The film was more positively received by critics than the previous films in the series, and grossed over $791 million at the box office. Unadjusted for ticket price inflation, it is Cruz's biggest commercial success to date. In May 2020, it was reported that Cruz would be starring and producing the first ever movie shot in outer space. Doug Lehman would be directing, writing, and co-producing. Both will fly to the International Space Station as part of a future Axiom space mission in a SpaceX Dragon 2 spacecraft. In May 2021, Cruz protested against the Hollywood Foreign Press Association by returning all three of his Golden Globe Awards in light of controversy surrounding the HFPA, particularly its lack of diversity, specifically no black members, and ethical questions related to financial benefits to some of its members. Producing Cruz partnered with his former talent agent Paula Wagner to form Cruz Wagner Productions in 1993, and the company has since co-produced several of Cruz's films, the first being Mission, Impossible in 1996 which was also Cruz's first project as a producer. Cruz is noted as having negotiated some of the most lucrative film deals in Hollywood, and was described in 2005 by Hollywood economist Edward J. Epstein as, one of the most powerful, and richest, forces in Hollywood. Epstein argues that Cruz is one of the few producers who are regarded as able to guarantee the success of a billion-dollar film franchise. Epstein also contends that the public obsession with Cruz's tabloid controversies obscures full appreciation of Cruz's exceptional commercial prowess. Cruz, Wagner Productions, Cruz's film production company, is said to be developing a screenplay based on Eric Larson's New York Times bestseller The Devil in the White City about a real-life serial killer, H. H. Holmes, at Chicago's World's Columbian Exposition. Catherine Bigelow is attached to the project to produce and helm. Meanwhile, Leonardo DiCaprio's production company, Appian Way, is also developing a film about Holmes and the World's Fair, in which DiCaprio will star. Cruz has produced several films in which he appeared. He produced Mission. Impossible, Without Limits, Mission, Impossible 2, The Others, Vanilla Sky and many others. Break with Paramount On August 22, 2006, Paramount Pictures announced it was ending its 14-year relationship with Cruz. In the Wall Street Journal, chairman of Viacom Sumner Redstone cited the economic damage to Cruz's value as an actor and producer from his controversial public behavior and views. Cruz, Wagner Productions responded that Paramount's announcement was a face-saving move after the production company had successfully sought alternative financing from private equity firms. Industry analysts such as Edward J. Epstein commented that the real reason for the split was most likely Paramount's discontent over Cruz, Wagner's exceptionally large share of DVD sales from the Mission, Impossible franchise. Management of United Artists In November 2006, Cruz and Paula Wagner announced that they had taken over the film studio United Artists. Cruz acts as a producer and star in films for United Artists, while Wagner serves as UA's chief executive. Production began in 2007 of Valkyrie, a thriller based on the July 20, 1944, assassination attempt against Adolf Hitler. The film was acquired in March 2007 by United Artists. On March 21, 2007, Cruz signed to play Klaus von Stauffenberg, the protagonist. This project marked the second production to be greenlighted since Cruz and Wagner took control of United Artists. The first was its inaugural film, Lions for Lambs, directed by Robert Redford and starring Redford, Meryl Streep and Cruz. Lambs was released on November 9, 2007, opening to unimpressive box office revenue and critical reception. In August 2008, Wagner stepped down from her position at United Artists. She retains her stake in UA, which combined with Cruz's share amounts to 30% of the studio. Personal life relationships and wealth Cruz splits his time between homes in Beverly Hills, California, Clearwater, Florida, Dulwich, London, and East Grinstead, West Sussex. He had several relationships with women in the early to mid-1980s, including Rebecca de Mornay, Patty Scalfa, and Cher. Cruz married actress Mimi Rogers on May 9, 1987. They divorced on February 4, 1990. Rogers introduced Cruz to Scientology. Cruz met his second wife, actress Nicole Kidman, on the set of their film Days of Thunder. The couple married on December 24, 1990. They adopted two children, Isabella Jane and Connor Anthony. In February 2001, Cruz filed for divorce from Kidman while she was unknowingly pregnant. 
The pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. In 2007, Kidman clarified rumors of a miscarriage early in her marriage to Cruz, explaining that she had actually had an ectopic pregnancy. Cruz was next romantically linked with Penelope Cruz, his co-star in Vanilla Sky. Their three-year relationship ended in 2004. An article in the October 2012 issue of Vanity Fair stated that several sources have said that after the breakup with Cruz, Scientologist leaders launched a secret project to find Cruz a new girlfriend. According to those sources, a series of «auditions» of Scientologist actresses resulted in a short-lived relationship with British-Iranian actress Nizanin Boniadi, who subsequently left Scientology. Scientology and Cruz's lawyers issued strongly worded denials and threatened to sue, accusing Vanity Fair of «shoddy journalism» and «religious bigotry». Journalist Roger Friedman later reported that he received an email from director and ex-Scientologist Paul Haggis confirming the story. In April 2005, Cruz began dating actress Katie Holmes. On April 27 that year, Cruz and Holmes, dubbed Tomcat by the media, made their first public appearance together in Rome. A month later, Cruz publicly declared his love for Holmes on The Oprah Winfrey Show, famously jumping up and down on Winfrey's couch during the show. Media coverage at the time implied that Oprah was somewhat taken aback by Cruz's overexuberant couch outburst, which distracted from the intended promotion of Cruz's current film, War of the Worlds. On October 6, 2005, Cruz and Holmes announced they were expecting a child. In April 2006, their daughter Suri was born. On November 18, Holmes and Cruz were married at the 15th-century Odescalchi Castle in Bracciano, in a Scientologist ceremony attended by many Hollywood stars. Their publicists said the couple had «officialized» their marriage in Los Angeles the day before the Italian ceremony. There has been widespread speculation that their marriage was arranged by the Church of Scientology. David Miscavige, the head of Scientology, served as Cruz's best man. On June 29, 2012, Holmes filed for divorce from Cruz. On July 9, the couple signed a divorce settlement worked out by their lawyers. New York law requires all divorce documents remain sealed, so the exact terms of the settlement are not publicly available. Scientology Cruz is an outspoken advocate for the Church of Scientology and its associated social programs. Cruz was converted to Scientology by his first wife Mimi Rogers in 1986. His involvement in the religion was leaked by the tabloid Star in 1990, and he publicly admitted his faith in a 1992 interview with Barbara Walters. He is friends with the church's chairman David Miscavige. Cruz struggled with dyslexia at an early age and has said that Scientology, specifically the L. Ron Hubbard study tech, helped him overcome dyslexia. Advocacy of Scientology In addition to promoting various programs that introduce people to Scientology, Cruz has campaigned for Scientology to be recognized as a religion in Europe. In 2005, the Council of Paris revealed that Cruz had lobbied French Interior Minister Nicolas Sarkozy and Senate President Jean-Claude Godin. They described him as a militant spokesman for Scientology, and barred any further dealings with him. He also lobbied British Prime Minister Tony Blair to recognize the church as a tax-exempt non-profit organization in the United Kingdom. Cruz also personally lobbied Bush administration officials on Scientology. In 2003, he convinced Deputy Secretary of State Richard Armitage and Vice Presidential Chief of Staff Scooter Libby to oppose the non-recognition of Scientology in Germany. In 2004, he met Secretary of Education Rod Page about endorsing Scientologist education methods as part of No Child Left Behind. Former Scientologist Paul Haggis also claimed that Cruz attempted to convert celebrities such as James Packer, Victoria and David Beckham, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, and Steven Spielberg to Scientology. Cruz co-founded and raised donations for Downtown Medical to offer New York City 9-11 rescue workers detoxification therapy based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard. This drew criticism from the medical profession and from firefighters. For such activities, Scientology leader David Miscavige created the Scientology Freedom Medal of Valor and awarded it to Cruz in late 2004. Criticism of psychiatry In January 2004, Cruz made the controversial statement. I think psychiatry should be outlawed. Further controversy erupted in 2005, after he openly criticized actress Brooke Shields for using the drug Paxil, an antidepressant to which she credits her recovery from postpartum depression after the birth of her first daughter in 2003. Cruz asserted that there is no such thing as a chemical imbalance and that psychiatry is a form of pseudoscience. In response, Shields argued that Cruz should stick to saving the world from aliens and let women who are experiencing postpartum depression decide what treatment options are best for them. This led to a heated argument between Matt Lauer and Cruz on NBC's Today on June 24, 2005. Medical authorities view Cruz's comments as furthering the social stigma of mental illness. Shields herself called Cruz's comments, a disservice to mothers everywhere. In late August 2006, Cruz apologized in person to Shields for his comments. Scientology is well known for its opposition to mainstream psychiatry and the psychoactive drugs which are routinely prescribed for treatment. It was reported that Cruz's anti-psychiatry actions led to a rift with director Steven Spielberg. 
Spielberg had reportedly mentioned in Cruz's presence the name of a doctor friend who prescribed psychiatric medication. Shortly thereafter, the doctor's office was picketed by Scientologists, reportedly angering Spielberg. YouTube video removal on January 15, 2008. A video produced by the Church of Scientology featuring an interview with Cruz was posted on YouTube by the anonymous linked group Project Chinology, showing Cruz discussing what being a Scientologist means to him. The Church of Scientology said the video had been pirated and edited, and was taken from a three hour video produced for members of Scientology. YouTube removed the Cruz video from their site under threat of litigation. After YouTube investigated this claim, they found that the video did not breach copyright law, as it is covered by the Fair Use Clause. It was subsequently reinstated on the site, and as of June 2020, the video has achieved over 15 million views. YouTube has declined to remove it again, due to the popularity of the video, and subsequent changes to copyright policy of the website. Scientology's purported influence on Cruz in 2013. Cruz stated that ex-wife Katie Holmes divorced him in part to protect the couple's daughter Suri from Scientology. He also said that Suri is no longer a practicing member of the church. In March 2004, his publicist of 14 years, Pat Kingsley, resigned. Cruz's next publicist was Lee Ann DeVette, his sister, who was herself a Scientologist. She served in that role until November 2005. DeVette was replaced with Paul Block from the publicity firm Rogers & Cowan. Such restructuring was seen as a move to curtail publicity of his views on Scientology, as well as the controversy surrounding his relationship with Katie Holmes. Lawrence Wright's 2013 book Going Clear, Scientology and the Prison of Belief and Alex Gibney's 2015 television documentary adaptation of the same name cast a spotlight on Cruz's role in Scientology. The book and the film both allege that the church groomed romantic partners for Cruz and that Cruz used Sea Org and Rehabilitation Project force workers as a source of free labor. In the film, Cruz's former auditor Marty Rathbun claims that wife Nicole Kidman was wiretapped on Tom Cruise's suggestion, which Cruz's lawyer denies. Cruz's ex-girlfriend Nizanin Boniadi later compared the church's auditioning of women to date Cruz and experiences with him to white slavery. Legacy in 2006, Premier ranked Cruz as Hollywood's most powerful actor, as Cruz came in at number 13 on the magazine's 2006 power list, being the highest ranked actor. The same year, Forbes magazine ranked him as the world's most powerful celebrity. The founder of CinemaScore in 2016 cited Cruz and Leonardo DiCaprio as the two stars, it doesn't matter how bad the film is, they can pull up. October 10, 2006, was declared Tom Cruise Day in Japan. The Japan Memorial Day Association said that he was awarded with a special day because of his love for and close association with Japan. While reviewing Days of Thunder, film critic Roger Ebert noted the similarities between several of Cruise's 1980s films and nicknamed the formula the Tom Cruise picture. Ebert listed nine key ingredients that make up the Tom Cruise picture. The Cruise character, the mentor, the superior woman, the craft he must hone, the arena it takes place in, the arcana or knowledge he must learn, the trail or journey, the proto-enemy, and the eventual enemy of the character. Some of Cruise's later films like A Few Good Men and The Last Samurai can also be considered to be part of this formula. Widescreenings compares two of these Cruise characters in an article on the film A Few Good Men. Aaron Sorkin interestingly takes the opposite approach of Top Gun, where Cruise also starred as the protagonist. In Top Gun, Cruise plays Mitchell who is a hotshot, military underachiever who makes mistakes because he is trying to outperform his late father. Where Maverick Mitchell needs to reign in the discipline, Daniel Caffey needs to let it go, finally see what he can do. Litigation in 1998, Tom Cruise successfully sued the Daily Express, a British tabloid which alleged that his marriage to Kidman was a sham designed to cover up his homosexuality. In May 2001, Cruise filed a lawsuit against gay porn actor Chad Slater. Slater had told the celebrity magazine Actistar that he had been involved in an affair with Cruz. This claim was strongly denied by Cruz, and Slater was later ordered to pay $10 million to Cruz in damages after Slater declared he could not afford to defend himself against the suit and would therefore default. Cruz requested a default judgment and, in January 2003, a Los Angeles judge decided against Slater after the porn actor said that his story was false. Cruz also sued Bold magazine publisher Michael Davis for $100 million, because Davis had alleged that he had video that would prove Cruz was gay. The suit was dropped in exchange for a public statement by Davis that the video was not of Cruz, and that Cruz was heterosexual. In 2006, Cruz sued cybersquatter Jeff Burgar to obtain control of the TomCruise.com domain name. When owned by Burgar, the domain redirected to information about Cruz on Celebrity1000.com. The decision to turn TomCruise.com over to Cruz was handed down by the World Intellectual Property Organization on July 5, 2006. In 2009, Michael Davis Sapper filed a suit charging that his phone had been wiretapped at Cruz's behest. That suit was dismissed by a central civil West Court judge in Los Angeles on the grounds that the statute of limitations had expired on Sapper's claim. In October 2012, 
Cruz filed a lawsuit against In Touch and Life and Style magazines for defamation after they claimed Cruz had abandoned his six year old daughter. During deposition, Cruz testified that due to his workload, 110 days had passed without him seeing her. The suit was ultimately settled between the two parties. 